I'm Sarah, and I am a tape recorder ALT. So a tape recorder ALT is someone who is not very involved in the class, in lesson planning, in making games. They're just kind of there. What they end up doing is they end up just kind of drilling vocabulary, uh, reading the passages, having the students repeat back to them. So basically all they're doing is reading straight from the textbook and that's where the term tape recorder comes from. There are different levels of tape recorder ALTs in my own experience though. So there are the ones that are not very involved, they just kind of show up to work and do their job and do the readings, and there's the ones who are more involved in the classroom. And at my junior high school, I have three teachers. In two of their classes, I am more involved with the students, and in one, I am not so involved. So, tape recorder ALTs tend to have a problem with not feeling needed in the classroom. They just feel like they're kind of in the background the whole time. And that can lead ALTs to feel like, well, what am I doing here? This is pointless for me. It's not helping the students. And that's totally understandable. Now, at the junior high school level, the Japanese teachers tend to be more involved because they have to teach a lot more grammar. And as ALTs, we're not really equipped to do that, especially because most of us don't speak a lot of Japanese, especially not enough to teach English and grammar and sentence structure. It's too difficult, and the JTE, the Japanese teacher of English, is there to do that. Um, for a typical ALT, what they will do in a junior high school is usually have like half of a class to play a game that will drill the vocabulary. So they're very involved in their classes and they have to make all these games and activities and worksheets. I don't do that so much. Um, for my first year students, I am more involved in the class, but I'm still a tape recorder. So usually what I do is the greeting, I say good morning, I ask them what day it is, I ask them what the date is, I ask them what time it is, and then my teacher always gives me about five minutes to do a small warm-up activity with them, and five minutes is not a lot of time, so we usually just end up playing a very simple, fast game. Uh, I also will check papers, check for spelling and grammar issues, because they're first years, there's not a lot, they're just starting to really learn English. Uh, I have a lot of good communication with the first year teacher. She always gives me a lesson plan uh, at least a week in advance and she'll write out everything she wants to do in class and she'll say, I will do this part, Sarah will read this passage, Sarah will drill vocabulary, Sarah will role play with the students. So I feel very involved in that class and even though what I'm doing is technically tape recorder, it doesn't feel like that. And with my second year students, it's the same. I have a really good communication with that teacher as well, and our desks are really close together, so we end up talking a lot in the teacher's room. Uh, we tend to work together to make worksheets. Uh, I grade the papers. I'm very present in the classroom. I walk around and I check their progress as they do worksheets and things like that. And of course I, I drill the vocabulary and I have them repeat after me for the passages. Um, I also started a little communication project with my second years where they have a reward sheet and if they come and they talk to me and they initiate a conversation, I will sign it. And if they get 30 signatures from me, then they get a prize, which none of them have gotten yet but several of my students are doing the project and I'm really proud of them. My third year is uh, not the best. Uh, I'm actually going to make a whole separate video on this because this JTE is kind of a problem. But for the tape recorder aspect, generally all that I do in his classes is the greeting 
and then I kind of stand off to the side and he teaches the entire class. So I'm not very involved in this class, which is a shame because they'll be taking their high school entrance exams pretty soon and part of my job is to help them prepare for the English portion of that. But I don't really have a chance to, um, to communicate with the students because the Japanese teacher takes up the whole time. He will occasionally give me classes to play games with them. Uh, that's usually at the end of a semester and he'll give me one class to do an activity. So I do get to have a little fun then and put my planning skills that I gained at training to use. But for the most part I feel very useless in his class and that is the general feeling that a lot of tape recorder ALTs have. For elementary school, it's a little different because the kids aren't really learning English. They're more so getting an introduction and playing games. They're not learning grammar. They're not learning like sentence structure. They're not learning how to write in English. They're really just learning how to say, I like apples and things along those lines. So for elementary school, ALTs usually are very involved, and I've actually heard stories of times where the, the teacher won't even come to class and just leave the ALT there alone with, you know, 20 kids. That's the whole point of the ALT being in the elementary school classrooms, is to get them to have fun with English. I do have elementary school classes, uh, it's only once or twice a month, so I'm not very involved. I don't plan the classes, mostly because I don't get lesson plans for those classes until about the night before I have to go, so I don't have time to plan for them regardless. So the teachers at elementary school will tell me what they want to do when I go in and they'll say, okay, we're going to play this game and then we're going to learn the vocabulary words, which are like the names of fruits or sports. It's really easy. And then that's the end of class. So for me at elementary school, I am usually an assistant. So I end up helping the elementary school teacher run the class, but I am not in charge, I don't make the games, and that's fine because I still feel like I'm doing something, and a lot of tape recorders don't feel that way. So you can be a tape recorder ALT and still feel needed in the classroom. I am a prime example of that. I feel like I'm doing a good job, I feel involved with my students, I feel like I'm getting to know my students very well. Uh, my third year class is an exception, but for the most part, I'm not bored with this job. Everybody says that tape recorder ALTs burn out faster because they're not doing much, but I don't get that feeling. Maybe it's because I'm lazy, but I tend to feel like I'm needed. Um, so if you are a tape recorder ALT and you're not happy with that, I do know some tips that will help you kind of break out of that tape recorder mold. So what you can do is you can start designing games and uh, worksheets and showing them to the JTE if you're at a middle school or the homeroom teacher if you're at elementary school. And generally, they'll get excited about that because, oh, now I don't have to do the work. And they will let you have that portion of class. You can also make entire lesson plans. Um, for junior high, it's a little more difficult just because of the grammar. But what I've seen with other ALTs is that the JTE will teach a class and introduce the students to the grammar, and then the next class the ALT will have like the whole class to drill grammar. So you can make plans that are drilling the grammar or using games that have the new sentence structure and vocabulary in it. And generally, they're very well received by the teachers. So I can't imagine that they would look at it and say, oh, no way. Um, sometimes they'll say, oh, we don't have time for this, but if you kind of keep pushing just a little bit, 
they will start to accept your plans more, especially if they're stubborn teachers. I have heard many stories about stubborn teachers. I have one myself. I know how it goes. You should really communicate more with your teacher if you feel like you're a tape recorder and you don't want to be doing that anymore. So you can ask them, can I teach this portion of class? Can I make a game? Just don't be afraid to ask them for more class time because that is your job. As an ALT, you are supposed to be leading some of the class. Basically, just be vocal. And if you are really having a problem, if you work for Interac or I guess JET, I'm not really sure how JET works, don't be afraid to contact your higher ups or whatever because they are there to help you and they are there to help you communicate with your school. They want you to enjoy your job. You didn't come to Japan to hate your job. So I have found that Interact has been very helpful and again I'll get more into that in other videos. But basically what I'm trying to say is it's okay to be a tape recorder and it's okay to not like being a tape recorder. For me, I am pretty okay with my position. I imagine as I work here longer, I'll be given a little more freedom in the classrooms, a little more ability to introduce games and worksheets and things like that. So it's mostly just about being patient. Um, but I really do enjoy my job and I'm excited for school to start again. We've been on summer break for like five weeks and I'm very bored. So I'm looking forward to going back. My final advice, just be involved, be vocal, communicate with your teachers and things will be fine. So if you're a tape recorder, good luck. If you don't want to be a tape recorder anymore, good luck. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!